What's going on YouTube? Rob A again, and today we're going to be taking a look at Warbatron WB01A Airburst. Uh, this is the this is Warbatron's take on Blastoff from the uh, Combaticons, and uh, as you can see, very very nice packaging. This is a uh, a slip cover, all done in nice nice kind of semi gloss silver. Uh, you get a very nice uh, kind of uh, this black and white sort of, well, not even black and white, just monochrome image of Airburst here uh, on on the front, as well as this nice uh, image of not Bruticus, I guess Warbatron 1 or whatever he's called, uh, kind of faded into the back, uh, as well as Warbatron up here in white lettering. Uh, it's a little hard to make out on camera, but it's, it's very, it pops nicely um, in hand. Uh, along the side here, you can just see the continuation of the uh, image. Uh, as well as the name here, WB01A, Airburst. And uh, on the back, there's a uh, really, really cool comic book ink image. Um, it's kind of hard to, to make out, but... Uh, and on the top, there's really not too much, just a nice gloss with some, some images here. And if you pop the uh, slipcover off, which is a little easier said than done... Ooh, there we go. Here is... Airburst. Uh, it's WB01A set. Okay. Uh, here he is. Here is, I don't know what's in here in this side of the packaging, but again, it's the same image we saw on the uh, the front here. Again, very nicely done, this time in color. Um, and of course, you can see Airburst in his little window packing. Uh, on the side here, you a little same same deal. They use this picture a lot, by the way. Just uh, his rank is Sarah Giant, uh, which is not a real thing. Uh, he is Martial Master, and he's in the RM'd forces of the Warbatron. Hey, you know, guys, ESL, it's gonna happen. You know, these these guys are uh, based in China or or you know wherever they're based. I think it's. I think they're based out of China. I could be wrong. I know this is made in China, but, uh, you know, English, not their first language. They probably, you know, they did the best they could with what they had. Just whatever. Uh, specification and colors of contents may vary from photo. There is, there are no photos on this box. It's all right. Uh, you get some uh, contact information down here. Uh, I'll, you can pause that and read. I won't read it off to you. And then just a little uh, kind of blueprint images uh, of the toy itself in various modes so I'm gonna go ahead open this guy up and we will check him out in hand in just a moment all right guys so inside the box I figured it out it was all those weapons and things were on the side there uh, <laughs> so he also comes with the uh, instruction manual and you know comic you know comic book that all the uh, all the independent Transformers or transforming robot companies are uh, are coming out with these days. Uh, he also the the comic also has this very very nice line drawing of the same exact image that we've seen uh, you know many times now, but uh, really really nicely done. And uh, it's also the uh, the instruction book here shows you all the different uh, different things and everything like that. So that's what you get. You also get to see the uh, <laughs> required little uh, credit card thing the uh, you know airburst warbatron all that good stuff uh, super ridiculously thick this thing it's super thick um, which just is even more of a shame that it's all still spelled incorrectly Surrey giant and all that stuff rm'd uh, but what are you gonna do what are you gonna do so besides all that stuff it's not we don't we don't need to worry about that you also get uh, airburst himself. So here he is. Here is his uh, vehicle mode. He is a space shuttle of sorts. I don't, I don't have the uh, the G1 blast off to compare him with uh, handy. Um, but to give you an idea, uh, we'll do uh, I guess, I guess we've got a, a Viacon here. There you go. <laughs> so he's he's very nice, very very sizable, uh, as you can see. Just just really pretty pretty big actually i do have one thing here here we go we have the fall of cybertron deluxe star scream uh, we can show them off with here you can see nicely 
nicely sized guy. He's a, he's a big chunk of a chunk of a ship here. Uh, it's very nice there. Um, I do have my problems with this figure. I will I will say that right off the bat. But uh, this mode is really cool. I'm I'm quite a fan of it. Uh, now I know there's a whole you know transformers and scale. Please do not even get me into that argument. Um, so for me, what I'm going to do uh, this this shuttle. As you can see, it's only got two thrusters. Normally, uh, space shuttles have five, I believe. It's, uh, you know, two and then one and then two smaller ones, I, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and say that this is uh, like a one-manned uh, exploration shuttle. Uh, so, you know, that's why it only needs two thrusters. And it's smaller, and that explains the size. There you go. Problem solved, everybody. Let's just relax. So, uh, very nice, very nice shuttle mode here. You can see the uh, the translucent windows here. Um, he's got these two little guns on the side. You can pop those off and put them in any weapons port uh, of your choosing. He's got two more down here on the on the wings. Uh, he's got the two here. You can even pop these wings off. I believe you could even stick them in here. Uh, no, no, that peg, that hole is a little too big. But you can, you know, he's got the. The wings do pop on and off like that. Uh, now you notice the wings do droop a little bit here. Um, that is unfortunate. It is also fixable. Uh, these are just on friction joints. You can pop that off here and just use uh, your personal favorite thickening agent, nail polish, floor polish, whatever whatever makes you happy, whatever floats your boat. You can thicken that right up and it should uh, should hold it, hold it steady. Um, he also has landing gear. He's got two uh, rolling kind of wheels, free rolling wheels in the front. And then these back here are just molded onto the uh, robot feet so those don't actually move. But the, it's it's a space shuttle. You, you know, you're going to have it, well, maybe not like that. There, there you go. There you go. Just like so. Uh, yeah, so very, very nice. Um... I like the color. It's it's a lot lighter than the original generation one, but I think I think maybe the the original might have been a little too dark. So uh, I think it, I think it works. I like the purple. I like the brown. Um, it, it, it works well together, in my opinion. Um, yeah. So a transformation on this guy, and we'll we'll get into that but uh there there may be issues where i have to stop the video and I'll, I'll i'll let you guys know when we get there but transformation itself is very simple um first thing you want to do you want to pull this back part off these are the these are the bits that were in the side of the package that we weren't seeing so just put that right off to the side you see you've got a little chunk missing back here um then you want to come up here and just pop the uh pop the nose cone up and just put it back like so just kind of get it out of the way uh, then you want to come back here and you want to grab just under there and lift these panels up on either side as best you can it there's a little gap so you can fit your fingernail in there and then you just want to push these up not all the way because they they have a stopping point although it's it's odd that the stopping points on mine are in different spots <laughs> Uh, but that's all right. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Uh, flip up the landing gear and just be careful because um, I actually, you can see that the corners are a bit messed on this one. Uh, that's because I could, they could not for the life of me get this landing gear out and I had to end up using a little tool to uh, to pry it out and eventually my fingernail and, and both of them the, the plastic's a little soft up there so just be careful with that um, you want to flip these wing bits down okay and then flip them back the wings themselves like so and like so and you'll see these tabs on the ends of the wings are just going to fit into these little holes right here so just plug those right in there you go so you got that going on, and now you've got kind of a, uh, you know, a, a, a torn down shuttle. <laughs> so you just want to take these bits out here. These are going to be ultimately the uh, shoulder pads. You just pull those out to the side. Uh, then over here, we're going to take these bits from the sides and just pull them out and forward like so. Flip these bits around and then collapse 
these panels like so. Uh, the hands, just want to get your finger in there and pull the hand out and just rotate it around. And yes, it does have the uh, hole in the forearm thing that people are getting all enraged about these days, and I don't understand why, but there you go. So there are his arms done and ready to go. Um, his legs are also simple. You just want to pull them apart there, just pull them down, and they do have a locking point just like so. There you go. So pull them down until they click and flip this back to become the heel of the foot. Uh, and I'll get to the feet very last because that's where I may have a problem. So then you just want to take the uh, take the shoulder pads. Ooh. Make sure they don't fall off the joint. Oh, okay, okay. I apparently don't know how to do this. <laughs> All right, well, let's let's try it on the other side. Maybe I'll have some better luck. All right, maybe start. Yeah, okay. So you want to move the shoulder pads out before you pull the arms out, I guess. My bad, everybody. My bad. Uh, and then flip the head around. There you go. You can see, very nice, very cool. Um, yeah, and so the feet. Uh, basically what you do is you pull the feet down like so and then you flip the toe around and that's where I've been having trouble because it's not easy to pull the toes around. <laughs> Ugh, that made me actually like sweat right there. Um, and I, I've seen it done in other people's videos where they've just turned it around no problem. So I don't know if it's just on a tolerance issue on my particular figure, but just be careful guys. Oh, this one, this one moves okay now. So this one's, this one's all right. This one's still got a little trouble, but I, I, when I first took it out, um, it comes in robot mode and I transformed it to shuttle mode, to, you know, just start there. Um, and I ended up having to, uh, use pliers use two pairs of pliers to get the leverage to actually move those around uh, and that was not not fun not cool at all uh, so yeah here he is in robot mode and uh, I'll be right back yeah oh and uh, yeah this uh, this back piece uh, you can do kind of whatever you want with it uh, I just kind of tuck it so it stays out of the way it's really not not a not a big deal not a big deal so there is airburst or uh, blast off in robot mode all right guys so airburst comes with a couple of different weapons here first of all uh, you've got this little uh, rear half of the uh, of the shuttle mode and you can just split that apart and the, the fins move however you want uh, you can also move this little uh, piece here and then push it up to get some some missiles exposed uh, which you can do just like so uh, now you can there are pegs here that you can plug it into his arms or where or on his legs or however you like uh, you can also flip this bit up to put these into his fists if you so desire uh, but I think I prefer them on his arms so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick those on just like so and I actually really like how those how those look. They really kind of bulk him up a, a nice bit, and they they look organic enough on him that they 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 fit. He also comes with these little guns, and you can uh, extend the barrel. Uh, just be careful because there are little clips, <laughs> just like that. There are little clips here to stop it when it reaches this certain point, uh, but they just don't. But if you put them back in you can feel them just sit right into that little spot and they will they don't fall out They're they're certainly stable um, but yeah if you if you pull on them they uh, they will not stop at that point naturally so you just gotta pop them back in and uh, just stick those in his hands or again on his legs he's got these two uh, ports here so whatever whatever makes you happy and there you go you have Airburst all kitted out with his weapons uh, and stuff. So, really cool. Um, so, the figure itself. Uh, 
articulation, uh, his head. I'll give you a nice close up of his head here. It's on a bally joint. Uh, not too much up movement, a little bit of down, but very nice left to right. Uh, shoulder pads are on stocks and ball joints, and they get out of the way for the arms, which can move back a little bit for transformation. They've got outward, they've got rotating, they've got a bicep, they've got double joint elbows, so you get a nice deep bend there. Uh, the wrists are swiveling. His fingers can move as one unit, uh, but they can go out uh, a la the Masterpiece cars. Very similar. He has a waist swivel. Uh, he's got universal uh, on his hips, like so. He has a little skirt piece, flips up to get, you know, allow for more uh, movement there. Uh, he's got a nice knee going on here. Not terribly deep, but uh, but it's decent. Uh, the, the feet are on ball joints, so you get a little motion out of that. And if you can actually turn them, his toes can give you a nice little tilt as well. So very poseable, this guy. Um, and yeah, very, very nice to pose. He's, he's really, really a lot of fun overall. Uh, now I will point out a couple of issues here, just, just so you're aware. Uh, I do have a fair amount, and I don't know how easy it is to see on the video, but there is a fair amount of overspray uh, on this side with the silver paint that they use. There's like It stops right here perfectly, and then it's all the way down right there. Uh, quite a bit of extra. Um, and again, I mean, nothing's nothing's really floppy or loose or terribly bad. There are some point, parts where the paint didn't quite make it all the way, um, like on his uh, on up here. You can see maybe there's you know it starts to get clear towards the end there, um, and that's it's not really a big deal. Um, there is some paint slop on you know. Like on the back here, got some of this yellow is on various bits. And again, it's not it's not the end of the world. It's easily removed. I just want you guys to know as much as you can about you know these figures, just so you can make an informed decision. Uh, the plastic quality feels great. Uh, he's nice and thick and chunky. Um, so to get a quick size comparison here, we're just gonna kind of push him back here, and I'll show you. Uh, here he is with. Voyager Generations Whirl. So you can see he's he's Voyager size for sure. Uh, Whirl's just a little bit on the tall side, I think, just because of the you know the whole neck he's got going on there as well. So there he is with that. Here he is with a deluxe Viacon right here. See, so he's, he's a good size, good size. And last, here he is with a uh, Mastermind Creations Bovis. And they are, in fact, pretty much the same height at the top of the actual robot head. Uh, it's just the bull head that kind of sticks up a lot farther. Um, so, yeah, they do match up pretty close in height uh, if you're going by this line from the top of the actual robot head to the top of the robot head. So, yeah, he's, he's roughly Voyager size. And, uh, yeah, so really cool and now moving on to probably the weakest mode which is kind of a bummer um, but the arm mode for the combined uh, robot so I just want to remove all these bits I don't know where they go in combined mode if they go anywhere uh, and you just want to flip in the hands like so do do uh, you want to flip up the feet, <laughs> which, eh, yeah. Basically, you're going to start turning him back into uh, shuttle mode. Okay, good. The feet are now starting to loosen up, which is very nice. I'm, I'm super pleased about that. So hopefully it was just a, you know, maybe there was some excess flash or something in there. Uh, you just want to, you want to leave uh, basically the, these bits kind of like so, and then just plug them together. You can see here where the uh, where the hand for the robot is going to eventually go. All right, so up here you want to go ahead and flip up the shoulder pads, flip the arms 
back a little bit just so you can rotate these out of the way. Come on, get. All right, fine. Be that way. All right. Flip them up. Connect them as best you can. And it can be a little, little tricky. There we go to get that plugged in because these don't really connect in any meaningful way. It's really they just kind of hold together uh, very loosely and then are you know locked in place by the nose cone. Um, so if you're not careful, you can knock those out of uh, orientation. So now, according to the official transformation instructions, uh, the way you do the arms here, I feel is the, the, the absolute weakest part of this, uh, this transformation. So you want to just move this back like so, and then just straighten this out and just kind of have it like that. So that is the official transformation, um, according to the instructions, is up and just like that. Um, and that to me is kind of a bummer. Um, and then you want to turn this like so, okay? Just like that. And you want to come over here, flip this purple bit up, just like that. And then come on and grab the... Uh, grab the uh, combiner peg. Uh, so that is the official arm transformation. And then you have the arm, you can bend it here. Uh, you can move this up and get more bend out of it. Uh, but that is the official transformation. You probably want to do some fan modding with this. So what I like to do, what I've seen a lot of people done, first of all, is, is turn this right around because that's that's just no good. Um, I don't know what it's getting caught up on. Maybe it only goes so far. No, there we go. It's just getting stuck. Okay. So first of all, you want to spin that around to that way. Uh, the thrusters are up front here, yes, um, but you do get a double hinge bend here, so it, it doesn't look quite as awkward um, being so high up. Um, and then for the arms, what I like to do is move this back move these bits back into the body of the, the ship like so and then this is a double hinge so you just kind of push that up and just kind of get it as far up as you can and then just try and get it out of the way <laughs> as best as possible um, you may want to flip you know this little uh, this panel out just to kind of give it a little more whatever um, to fill it in I guess you would say and then just kind of have it like that open open the tabs up here and I've only fiddled with this for very very briefly so I, I may even find another way to do it but uh, that to me seems like a little bit better uh, just personally um, so that's how I will probably display it. Um, yeah, so there's the arm mode. Uh, you can see it's very, very large, you know. Uh, so it's going to be a very big combiner, obviously. Um, and, and, and we'll see. One thing I am also concerned about uh, is there are absolutely zero ratchet joints on this guy. I, I don't know, maybe... Maybe this combiner port turns? I don't know. I, for some reason, I don't think so. Uh, just going by the, the screws back here, I think this just stays stationary, and it whatever it's attached to has a turning mechanism. But, um, yeah, there are, no, there are no ratchets anywhere on this guy. So I, I am a little concerned about longevity of the combined mode and being able to, to kind of hold all the weight of all these figures. Um, but, I mean, that aside, overall, it's definitely got its flaws. This is a new company. Uh, as far as I know, this is their first, uh, the first figure that they're putting out. And it, it's an ambitious project, definitely. Um, 
but I am interested enough. It is a good enough figure that I'm interested in seeing, you know, where else they go. Hopefully they'll improve with each, each figure and uh, we'll get a really nice overall combined figure out of this. Uh, so blast off definitely really cool not perfect that's for sure but uh, really really nicely done especially for a first time out um, so that's going to do it for this review guys i want to thank you so very much for watching as always be sure to like comment subscribe all that good stuff and uh hopefully have more transformers coming for you real soon uh more independent uh parties as well so uh stay tuned for that thanks again for watching i'll see you in the next one bye for now